just stop typing, stop typing and, and get rid of the zombie. Dear lord, we suck. Poor zombie. What? <sighs> Welcome to <laughs> Subtitle Guy, she's here, what? boss. Why is she here? No idea, boss. Please load the main menu, thank you. What? Okay. Welcome to unsettling events in the deliberately buggy game. Deliberately, this is this is intentional. I think I'll read it. To, let me. Hang on. Um, I'll look at the game store page. Unsettling events in the depths of hell. It's by Free Zero Eight Games, and you'll think, "Who the fuck is that?" That sounds like a weird, random nobody kind of game. However, 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 this is by the same person who made Like Clay. For those new to my channel and don't know Like Clay, I would recommend it. Maybe I'll say, "Click on the card up above" if I remember to do that. Um, card up above will display my advertised series on Like Clay, an old series I played a long time ago. It is an interesting horror game, one of a kind, a little interesting, unique. It was something to me that was memorable. It wasn't like the best, oh my god, it's like hardcore, but it was just interesting. It was, uh, as they say, Like Clay, it's an adventure game with horror elements. It was a very intriguing adventure from start to finish. Uh, start to finish, after you just watch it all, you'll see the hints of what I saw in the developer that they had an interesting, like a strange potential, I guess I could say. And I hadn't seen them make any other games since then. And they made this a long time ago, like 2017 or earlier, and they hadn't made anything since. For some reason, this game, Unsettling Events in the Depths of Hell, was something they made in September 2019. I didn't even know they did it, even though I literally am following them on itch.io. And I've been following them for, I do believe, over a year. And yet I was not... I, I wasn't informed about this being uploaded, so I'm a little upset. But anyway, it's, so it's a new game by the person who made Like Clay. Uh, let's see. They're back with another horror game, so it is a horror game. Your roommate Theodore has disappeared. Discover the shocking truth behind his disappearance. Or maybe not, it's not shocking at all. Find out, they say. Solve more or less cleverly designed puzzles. Fight the forces of evil in exciting melee combat. And in, if we can get the melee system work, I would not count on it, says the developer. Features a story told by the voice actor. He's not a great voice actor, but was willing to work for free. Subtitles, colliders, textures, animations, and physics based on the theory of gravity. Those, the, those events are rather unsettling. So, silly. I'm sure there's going to be horror elements, but also some silliness in this game. Maybe comparable to Stanley Parable. Maybe. So, let's see. Every V blank, texture is high, shadow resolution is super, everything looks good. How to play? Uh -huh. Light beam. Switch vision mode once available or Q. I'll, I'll, I'll remind myself for Q, but it light beam. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I liked Light Clay a lot. I would recommend it. Dear player, this is probably the first live game in video game history. We, the developers, are watching you while you play the game. This may sound a little strange at first, but please believe us when we tell you that this is, going to, this is actually a good thing. Should you encounter a bug, get stuck, or lose your way, we'll help you in real time. All the dialogues are spoken live by our talented voice actor. Our subtitle guy is writing the subtitles live while you play the game. The music is played by a real orchestra, and of course, very much live. Oh god. Or what about the music? There's also an eyelash stabbing my eye, and I don't like that. 
What about the music? As already mentioned, we wanted to hire an orchestra to play live music while you play the game. However, as it turns out, those orchestras are quite expensive and we could not afford to hire one. Therefore, we are forced to use whatever instruments we could organize within an hour, a flute, a drum, and one of those wooden fish thingies, and play them ourselves. Please forgive us if the music does not live up to your standards, but this is not our fault. The game saves at the beginning of every level, most likely. Chris, if you try to sell this game anywhere on the internet, I will hunt you down and kick your ass. Alright. Interesting game, but... I am... This is where our story begins. Excited. In the basement of your apartment. He sounds In this... A, hey, subtitle guy, now would be a good time for you to start typing. Sorry, boss. Thank you. <clears throat> This is where our story begins, in the basement of your apartment. Your roommate Theodore has disappeared. He spent a lot of time in the basement, so this is where you start your search. Alright. His voice is just as I remember from Light Clay. It's, uh, oh my god, fuck my stupid eyelashes. I hate my eyelashes. It brings me the... Nostalgic voice, because whenever you read books, it would be the same guy's voice. It brings me some nostalgia. I'm also using a new keyboard, so I'm going to hope it's a little quieter. It's a, a Razer Tactile and Silent. So it has... I mean, I, I'll do some cordial typing. It's like, it's not as clacky, and I can type super fast, but... It may or may not pick up as much in the microphone. We'll, uh, we'll have to find out, but it's it's sexier. It's a better build quality than what I had before. <laughs> Am I just playing the music by going with like, the beats? I thought I was like making music, so I was like going around with it. I was like, yeah, let's make some drums. Drum beats with the doorknobs. Anyways, can't get distracted. The doorknobs, it gets just kind of unrealistically small. Scary floating head, I'm scared. Oh. 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 So this doorknob. I wonder if we could like rush that. The game is definitely intentionally weirdly buggy. Also, you saved. I can't jump as well. Alrighty then. Let's go this way. Good. Um, hold on a second there. Sure. This cross is supposed to be upside down. Oh, it is a horror One game. moment, please. Thank you, thank you. You gotta make it evil. No, oh, they... They literally turn off the lights, flip it, and then... What, are you gonna turn on the lights? Oh, thank you, whoever turn off the lights, walk next to me, flip this, and then walked out. Thank you. Chapter 1, how to open a passage to the nether realm. Touch both horns of the sculpture. With a speaker system playing ominous music. Well, okay, let's touch both horns, I guess. Cool. Unfortunately, we had to fire our lead animator after the first level because he failed to meet even our rather low expectations. The team tried really hard to improve the animations in the following levels. If you're not happy with the animations in the following levels, please send angry tweets at free08games. We will then print them out and send them to our ex-lead animator, whose name shall be forgotten. Unfortunately, our flute player passed away in a tragic yet comical accident. Chris, I'm dead serious. The same goes for you. 
You. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. You open your eyes and you find yourself in a dungeon deep within the bowels of the earth. Could it be that Theodore is actually summoning the demons of hell? You have to find him and stop him. But first you will have to stare at the chalice of doom and eat from the sword of death. Only then will you be strong enough to destroy him. How should she know any of well, us? Well, I just told her now, didn't I? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Fucking frame rate, though, seriously. <laughs> Why? Just because the lead animator is fired? That, that. Dungeon fresh. butchered the pronunciation anyways. At least these fans don't kill me. Oh, water? What? Yeah, I'm afraid this is not going to stop. Anyway, you pick up the lens of death and install it on your flashlight. Use your mouse wheel to see the unseeable and unsee the seer. What? I'm so proud to be part of this. If you don't have a mouse wheel, just press Q. I am, but it's not installed yet. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Something is missing. Can we quickly add a zombie to the big hall and make sure it looks scary? Oh no, not the scary zombies. Where's the scary zombie? I don't see no scary zombie. Down here? Maybe through this door is what they're talking about. Please ignore this open door. It is not part of the game. That is, that definitely is scary. This zombie is terrible. What were you thinking? This is not scary at all. Sorry, but this is the best we could do on such short notice. Three will kill you. One will unlock the secret door. So what about number four? Gore, blood, death. I had to click all the ones that looked like they'd kill me, or just smash my hand at least. Oh. Well, that would have killed me. Rightfully. Yeah, the harpoon's right through the eyes. Oh my god, my eyelashes. Oh, I'm gonna have to check the mirror after this recording. Oh, painful. What? I don't. That, that's not how levers work, but we're not gonna question it. 
Uh, oh, that's gone. Okay. Royalty free zombie noises. Oh, God. What is... Why is nothing happening? The zombie's stuck. There are no attack animations. How could we forget the attack animations? Apparently the guy who was supposed to do them was not paying attention during one of our meetings because he was playing... You know what? Just stop typing, stop typing, and, and get rid of the zombie. Dear Lord, we suck. Poor zombie. Okay. Well, since the zombie fucked off and started crying... Let's see how you handle the whole way of trials. Something is wrong with your voice. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. How am I supposed to if I'm just gonna be falling? I can't jump. Oh, that's why. Do these even hit me or no? If I time it right... I think they're too tall and wouldn't hit my head. Theodore is building a bridge between our world and hell. After you defeat him, you have to destroy this bridge. But most of all, why do I sound like that? And how do I disable this bullshit? It's a prank, boss. <laughs> Funny. Please switch it off. Thank you. I hate you. Alrighty then. We're going down the stairs. Another zombie. Does it have attack animations at least? Um. Well, I want to see the zombie though. There's noise this way. <laughs> oh no, not. Oh, good job, zombie. No, 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 no. You know what? I am done with this CG bullshit. We obviously cannot handle it. From now on, it is back to good old people wearing costumes. Claudio, you are up next. Why don't you put on a little makeup and that zombie costume over yonder and then go to level 3 and wait for the player to murder you. Jesus Christ, guys, we need to get our act together. This is falling apart. Fast. Hmm. Oh, that's why. It's a good thing I keep this on, mostly. But as the poor zombie was T-posing, apparently it had something to do with CG. I, I don't know how or why, but... With that... I think it'd be easy to survive that, or we just avoid it altogether. Like, I, I get a feeling like walking on this platform will, it will keep me alive. If I could just walk through this. <laughs> okay then. Well. Yep. Okay, let's not ask questions. Floors need cleaning even in these levels in these games. Interesting. And so not so much horror games. It's definitely more on the comedy, but like Clay had some silliness, but not as much as this, so we'll have to see where it goes from here. Wait, just look at eyes. What?
Wow, I really dig the atmosphere in this part. Congratulations, guys. Let's keep it this way. Shall we order a pizza later? Oh, sorry. Should I go upstairs or downstairs? Uh, let's check out downstairs. Deep fried puppies. Oh. This. It's a little broken, but. but thankfully, they do have the speaker system here for the uh, the ambience. Thankfully. Or else it would have been just silence and that would have been awkward, wouldn't it be? <sighs> oh. Stone. And there it was, the mighty sword of the... What the hell is that? It's a twig. Apparently this is placeholder art. What? Placeholder art? Why would we ship a game with placeholder art in it? Okay, and the real sword is... It's stuck. It's stuck. Of course it is stuck. <clears throat> um, dear player, we are facing some technical difficulties and stupidity. We are unfortunately unable to replace the twig with a sword and therefore the twig will have to make do. <clears throat> and there it was, the mighty twig of doom, the, of death, doom, dummies here. Your next task is to murder Claudio which might actually take a while because, well, you are armed with a twig, but we'll see how it goes. I'll stab her in the eye. Yes. <laughs> I'll swat her good. Maybe we, can make, maybe we can make it into a spanking rod of death or doom, depending on how hard I whack Claudia with it. I better hear some mighty fine moaning by me using this twig of doom. Oh my god, what the hell happened here? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> could please somebody call an ambulance? And dear player, may I ask you to please check her pulse to find out whether she's still alive? Thank you. She definitely did a good job in making herself look like a zombie. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, the good news is we don't need an ambulance. The bad news is she's dead. No spanking, I guess. <laughs> Our plan was that Claudia gives you a key after you murder her. And now that I think about it, that would not have worked at all anyway. So we have decided that the door was not locked. Please move ahead. Oh, okay. Which, which door is not locked? Uh, this one? Yes. Okay. Claudia is dead. She does not get any whippings or spankings. Zombie banged his foot or something. Uh... So yeah, this is Tilly, our intern. He was actually supposed to give you a good scare, but I'm afraid he might be unconscious by now because he has been hanging there for quite a while. Please grab him by the shoulders and softly bang him against the wall. Maybe you can wake him up? Maybe. Is he dead too? Hmm. No reaction. Please try again. One more time, please. <laughs> hey, I saw that. Why does she have legs anyway? I thought she was just a floating oh. camera. Tilly! Tilly, yeah, you, you, you sound great, buddy. Don't worry, we will get you out of there. Here's what is going to happen. We will cut the rope. You will start to fall. While falling, you will have to grab the ledge in front of you and then pull yourself up. Okay? Can you get rid of the bag Three, first? Three, two, one, and cut. Ah! Oh. oh, shut up. Dear player, 
While we mourn till his passing, you will have to find wood to build a bridge across the gap in front of you. Alright, well, moving on, I guess. I can actually hit. I can actually hit things with the the twig of doom. Wait, but only in the red. Oh, there it goes. This is a quite durable branch. It would be good for spanking and whipping. Damn. Anyways, I think we should leave it here for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed and look forward to more of this game and its silliness. If you are enjoying, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates to my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.